Welcome everybody to a brand new Blu-ray and DVD out and about video today. And this week sees the release of the heist comedy Ocean's 8 hitting store shelves along with the crime drama Superfly, the complete 11th season of The Big Bang Theory, and Screen Factory is releasing a Blu-ray edition of the religious horror film The Seventh Sign plus much, much more. So let's go in and see the deals exclusives and we're at our first location Walmart so let's go in and see what they got all right everybody we are in at Walmart here and the first thing I'm seeing is they have the 4k blu-ray and digital here for $29.96 for Ocean's 8 they also have the blu-ray DVD and digital for $24.96 here and they also have the DVD here for $16.96 so You've got sort of a red cover for the DVD here, more red, and you've also got sort of this cover, which is a little more white with sort of the red stripes right here. So a couple of different artwork, depends on what you're looking for. And Nick and I did a movie review on Ocean's 8. You can catch it on the movie review playlist. And you know what? We actually really did enjoy this movie. It was a really sort of fun, harmless sort of heist film. And I actually really like the other Oceans films. I'm a big fan of the Oceans trilogy. Yeah, some of them are better than others. I like 11. I really like 13. 12 is hit and miss, but I generally do like it. And Oceans 8 really is in the vein of that trilogy um, with the team of people having to do this impossible sort of heist and the complications of it and hilarity ensues, all that jazz. It's actually not bad. It's pretty decent of a film. I really enjoyed it for the most part. Sandra Bullock does a great job. Kate Blanchett, uh, everybody, Helen Bonham Carter. Yeah, everybody does a really solid job in this movie acting-wise. They do a really great job here. It actually is a very decent film. Um, I don't think it's as good as those other Oceans films, but that's a matter of opinion. I, I'm a big fan of those, so I was kind of comparing it more to those ones but it's actually not bad though it's actually a pretty decent film if you haven't checked it out yet definitely do it it's actually pretty good you guys might enjoy it if, if you like those other ocean films which I definitely do then the other thing I'm seeing here is oh boy more Paw Patrol don't have kids not big into Paw Patrol but uh, yeah a new Paw, Paw Patrol movie from Nickelodeon guess if your kids are into it 1496 uh, then the other thing I'm seeing over here is Distorted. Uh, the DVD for $14.96. Oh, I'm sorry. Actually, the DVD for $9.96. My bad. They actually have one of the DVD copies right here. And the Blu-ray for $14.96. And I have not heard of this movie. But it actually looks kind of cool. Christina Ricci, John Cusack. I actually like them both. I like the cover. The cover is actually really cool. I like that. Don't fear the lies, fear the truth. Huh? Hmm. What is this about here? Um. Hmm. Not bad, actually. Hmm. That could be cool. Cast. Production. For you. Well, some featurettes, at least. Uh, yeah, you know what? I haven't seen Christina Ricci in a movie in a really long while. And John Cusack, I really love John Cusack. Actually, he's one of my favorite actors of all time. But he's been doing a lot of these straight-to-DVD movies. Um, uh, not the best quality, and I'm hoping John Cusack does a little bit better. I, Like I said, I still really like him. It looks kind of cool. I like both the actors. It might be worth a watch. Let me know if you've seen Distorted. Could be kind of cool. Then, other thing over here I am seeing, I'm seeing the Blu-ray and digital of the complete 11th season, The Big Bang Theory for $34.96 and the DVD for $29.96 here. And, again, I have never really gotten into The Big Bang Theory. Not that it's bad or anything, it's just that it's not really a, my kind of show... I love comedy shows. I'm, I'm more of a fan of like something like The Office. Very dry humor. I really like that kind of stuff. This is okay. Um, I have friends who are really big into this show. Rightfully so. I get it. It has its huge fan base. 
it's not. I think the comedy kind of goofed on geek culture a little bit too much I think at least from what I know and people have told me that at first it was really good and it's kind of went way over the top you know in sort of the the newer seasons I guess I, I don't really know too much about it let me know what you guys think of the Big Bang Theory is it worth it to get into um maybe hmm, I don't know I don't know not really my thing I, I might just skip it but definitely let me know guys and another thing I'm seeing over here is The Watcher in the Woods, the DVD for $9.96 here. And, ooh, I really like that cover. That cover is really cool. Angelica Houston, very nice here. Uh, 20 years ago, a girl vanished. Now the terror returns. Um, huh. Interesting here. Let's see what this is about. Um... Huh, that could be pretty cool. I kind of like that premise. That's actually not bad. I like this, and the cover is really cool. Very stylized, almost very, like, cool covers. I know it's got the floating heads thing going, but I kind of like it. It's very eerie, and, yeah, it looks kind of cool. Never heard of The Watcher in the Woods, but I do like Angelica Houston a lot. Great actress. The cover really intrigues me. You know, if, I'm, if I just came in here to Walmart to just blind buy... This would be one of the ones. It's just very eye-catching. Yeah. If you guys know anything about Watcher in the Woods, let me know. Could be pretty cool. Then, the other thing I am seeing over here is Superfly. The DVD for $17.96. And the Blu-ray DVD and digital for $19.96 here. And... I ended up watching this movie on Amazon Prime, and, uh, guys, look, um, I'm gonna be honest with you, this movie is not very good. It's, it's, it's really just, just a really terrible movie. Um, it's, it's based off this sort of 1972 m movie Superfly, sort of a remake of it, and it really is sort of just very terrible of a movie um how can i kind of say it it's it's way too stereotypical a lot of cliches it's basically about this guy who's doing cocaine he's a sort of drug guy who's sort of you know people kind of fear him and respect him and he wants to get out of the game and do one last big score and um and just sort of all the trouble and the craziness and the action and death that goes on it is it is so terrible of a movie. I was just sitting watching the movie, just bored out of my skull. Um, I was just I was just I was groaning most of the time, guys. It's just it's 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 stere stereotypical. It's cliche. It's cheesy. It's it's just the acting is terrible. And I know this movie bombed at the box office, and I can honestly see why. It was just really just a boring boring movie, and. An instant hip hop classic, please give me a break. Will you? No, it's not a. It's not an instant hip hop classic. This thing is so forgettable, guys. In like a day or two, I'm gonna forget this movie. It's just, it's it's superficial. It's just very. It's you. You've seen better movies like this. This is not one of these movies, and it's almost like the movie's trying to be sort of the, another version of like Goodfellas or something. And and trust me, it ain't gonna be Goodfellas, guys. It's it's really just. Uh, just a stupid boring mess that I would not recommend to you guys honestly and um, There's also a version here for 1996 the DVD that comes with the original Superfly film which I've only seen bits and pieces of the Superfly film, but let me tell you something probably much much better than this stupid remake it possibly ever could be but this is only a Walmart exclusive if you like the film hey I can't blame you everyone has their opinions but you know it comes with the original Superfly which come on easily 1970s probably a much better film than this will ever ever be in its whole entire lifetime um, other than that I think that does it for Walmart not a big release week guys but and it happens. Let's head out. Mm, uh, kind of 
a slow release week, uh, nothing really huge and amazing, and not really many exclusives to show except for that one for Superfly, which I guess is good. <laughs> I mean, you know, honestly, we've had a few weeks where there was a lot of crazy busy stuff going on a lot of exclusives a lot of releases so i don't mind a slower release week i'm okay with it we were bound to get one or two so i'm okay with it um but you know other than that not bad selection here at walmart as usual uh, let's go to the other stores and see if there's any other cool stuff that they have to look at let's head out guys all right everybody we are at our second location target uh good Decent overall selection at Walmart, but not a really crazy busy release week. Uh, I don't expect Target to have a lot to offer because when we usually have these slow release weeks, usually Target doesn't offer much. But, hey look, I've been surprised by Target before and generally speaking, Target sometimes has some good surprises. So, let's see what Target might have in store for us this week. Alright guys, let's get going. Alright guys, we are in at Target here and the first thing I am seeing is they got the 4K Ultra HD and Blu-ray Digital of Ocean's 8 for $29.99, the Blu-ray DVD and Digital for $24.99 and they have the DVD here for $19.99 and another different DVD cover. We saw a different one over at Walmart and now a different one here at Target. Very interesting here. Two different DVD covers. Hmm. I guess it might be the exclusive is the DVD. But I'm also noticing that they... I don't know if this is a Target exclusive or not. But it includes a bonus disc over 30 minutes of special features. So I don't know if it's a Target exclusive. It doesn't say it on here. But if it is, that's cool. It's, you know, extra footage. You know, special features is nice. Always, always welcome interesting um i know that extra disc it doesn't say that it comes with the blu-ray or the 4k so it just comes with the dvd which is really weird but hey if you're into just the dvd you get an extra disc not bad and you know just so you guys know as far as the timeline is concerned um this does take place after the first three oceans films so it is a sequel in a lot of ways there's people that do show up in it. I won't spoil who does. It is very interesting. And overall, like I said, it's good. Not great. Not as good as those other ones, in my opinion. But um, it's it's not bad, though. And the movie is directed by Gary Ross. Now, Gary Ross directed the first Hunger Games movie, um, Seabiscuit. He's a good director. But you can tell in this movie he's trying to copy Steven Soderbergh, like the style of Steven Soderbergh. And he honestly just can't pull it off, guys. No offense. He's, he's good, but Steven Soderbergh is so much better. And I kind of wish Steven Soderbergh had directed this movie, but he directed other three Oceans films. I don't think he would ever have been interested in directing another one. But the cast is good. They gel really well. The movie's fun. And that's all you're really asking out of these movies, honestly, guys. Then the next thing I'm seeing is you got the Blu-ray DVD and digital of Superfly for $22.99 and the DVD here for $19.99. And, oh, um, you know, the movie is trying to be the sort of black exploitation film from like the 70s or something. And honestly, sort of a modern day one. It honestly doesn't work, guys. I'm not going to lie. It's it's really just, um, it's, it's really lifeless, flat, over the top, kind of ridiculous. Y you know what is actually a really good one that was sort of felt like an old school black exploitation film but had sort of modern day stuff in it was um, Black Dynamite. Black Dynamite was really great and I really love that one. This one just can't touch it, man. Um, and it's not even really relevant as far as the African American culture. Like movies like Boys, um, like Boys in the Hood, very very fantastic one. This one just can't compete, man. It really cliched, stereotypical. It's kind of bland. And the movie is directed by this guy called Director X. 
I've never seen any of his other stuff. I, I looked him up and he has directed a crap ton of like music videos. And that's what this movie feels like. It feels like one big music video. A little flashy all over the place. Um, if you like that, great. But there's got to be an intriguing story and characters. And it's just not, guys. It's really not that good. I would say skip it. And then over here I am seeing they have I don't know whether this came out this week or not um, Law and Order True Crime The Menendez Murders the DVD for 1999 um, God I remember the Menendez trial and everything to do with it God it was a really just sort of big deal back in the day the whole the whole Menendez thing and and just the the brothers and the the whole trial everything it just huh i don't know much about it i, I like edie falco edie falco is great back from S sopranos absolutely come on sopranos is great yeah i don't know much about this uh could be cool huh sort of like this true crime thing hmm could be interesting i don't know if you guys are into law and order true crime things uh Mendez murders not bad then the other thing i am seeing they also have here is the watcher in the woods i thought it was only going to be an actual like walmart one but actually not and that's for 7.99 which i think is less than walmart and god i still like that cover i still really do angelica houston is awesome back in the day like the adams family mo movies and do you remember that one she did back in the day it was like a kid's like, like horror film almost called like uh, the witch or witches yeah man that needs like a collector's edition release i would buy that in a heartbeat man that was great yeah she's awesome this could be a cool movie um other than that i don't see anything else uh let's see what else we can find guys all right guys we are in this section and the only other thing i'm seeing is they have the blu-ray and digital of the big bang theory for 37.99 the blu-ray and the dvd here for 32.99 Ooh, i know this is actually they are getting one more season and then that's it they are done for um i heard it had to do a lot with like the actors are now they're they're basically getting ridiculously overpaid and they're getting really expensive and basically um, CBS can no longer afford them and I heard that people were holding out for more money and it was just a whole political thing um, I hope it ends well look I, I even though I don't love this I still hope it ends well for the fans that actually watch it uh, yeah I mean like I said it's not my cup of tea but I do appreciate that other people do really enjoy it. Definitely let me know what you guys think. And over here, they still have Blu-rays, the exclusive ones, only at Walmart, I'm sorry, only at Target for the Hocus Pocus one for $15.99. You guys tell me that these are like going big time. I still love this with the book and everything. It's really cool. But they still have like three copies here guys which is really astounds me because these things are going crazy i know i have the steelbook and the steelbook is great but should i pick up this exclusive blu-ray i don't know definitely let me guys let me know what you guys think should i i really do love the cover art it's very cool i'm just kind of surprised they still have it but other than that that'll kind of do it uh all right let's head out guys Actually, not bad selection here from Target this week. You know, being sort of a slower release week, I was thinking that we weren't going to get much titles to look at here, but really they kind of had on par with, with, with Walmart, which is actually really crazy. Usually they don't bring in a lot, but I was really surprised. I, I really liked it a lot. I liked what they had in. And we had at least a kind of exclusive with the Ocean's 8, even though it doesn't say it's an exclusive. I, we, I know we didn't see it over at Walmart, so I'm assuming it's an exclusive only here to Target. So that would be kind of cool that we at least got an exclusive as well. So yeah, not bad here at Target. Pleasantly surprised this week. Thought it was going to be sort of a dead zone. Not at all. Really surprised. So let's hope the third and final location has some cool stuff to look at as well. Let's head out, guys. 
All right, everybody, we are at our third and final location, the Beast Best Buy. Now, actually, slow release week, but I've actually been surprised by the selection we've seen at the stores. It hasn't been wonderful, hasn't been mind-blowing, but for a slow release week, I thought we wouldn't get much to offer to show you guys, but actually, we've gotten some decent stuff to show, even some exclusives, even though they've been really small exclusives. Um, we've still gotten to see some stuff, which actually really shocked me this week. Uh, let's hope Best Buy has some good stuff. Usually they do. Usually they match most of the stores. So let's see if we can find some stuff, even maybe another exclusive. Let's go in and check out what the Beast has. Alright guys, we are in at Best Buy here and I am seeing this display for Ocean's 8 right here. Very nice display here. The only display for Ocean's 8 that we've seen. And the first thing I am seeing over here is they got the 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray and digital for $29.99. They have the Blu-ray DVD and digital for $24.99. They have the DVD for $17.99. The same artwork that we saw over at Target. And I guess the Target is not an exclusive uh, because this comes with the bonus disc over 30 minutes as well. So... Okay, I guess we didn't get to see an exclusive at Target, but, eh, you know, at least both of them have it, so you can either get it at Target or get it at Best Buy if you're into the DVD here. I was hoping we'd get another different artwork cover for this store because we saw two different ones. I was like, maybe we'll get a third one. No, unfortunately not, but still cool artwork. And they have an exclusive. They have a 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray digital only at Best Buy Steelbook here, exclusive for $34.99. Pretty nice Steelbook here. I actually really like it. I, I like the the chicks in the shadow there, the eight. Very nice. Very cool. Al almost a, a lot like that cover. Almost a lot like that. And, you know, this movie made a lot of money at the box office, so I'm assuming we're going to get an Ocean's 9 and an Ocean's 10. I'm assuming so. Um, like I said, the chemistry with the the ladies is very good. And, you know, the one thing I kind of wish was that we got more chemistry. There wasn't enough time in the movie to develop the chemistry between them enough. Um, and I'm hoping in future movies we kind of get that. And this movie also, in a lot of ways, felt like a remake of Ocean's Eleven, just with with ladies. Which is not a problem, because I still enjoyed the movie, and, and it's still a fun film to watch. But if you compare the two, there's a lot of comparisons between it, character-wise and everything. Uh, definitely look into that, because there's definitely a, a lot a lot of similarities. Um, but it's not a bad movie, though. And the special features here you get, let's see, uh, a high heels, Ocean's Team 2.0, reimagining, deleted scenes. Not a lot of special features here, guys. And to be honest with you, um, I... <laughs> I like the movie, I want to pick it up, but I think I'm going to wait until uh, probably Black Friday to pick it up. I, I just don't see any immediate need to pick this up, guys. There's not enough special features to pay something like $34.99 for the exclusive or $29.99 for the, 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 the regular 4K. There just doesn't seem like a lot there to really invest myself in in order to pay the price for this but i do like the movie and hopefully if there's a good deal on black friday i definitely will pick it up other than that uh that's it that i'm seeing over in this section guys so let's see if best buy has anything else guys all right guys we are in this section of best buy and the first thing i'm seeing over here is they got the dvd digital of superfly for 18.99 and the blu-ray dvd and digital for 19.99 here oh this was a real frustration of a movie guys um like i said it just it's it's trying to be this really sort of culturally relevant movie hard hitting reality but it just doesn't really pull it off there's there's this gang in the movie called the snow patrol or i think it's called the snow patrol and it's all these african american dudes and they're all dressed in white like like really really like like winter white and even their guns are white and it's just it's over the top ridiculousness it's not 
it's not like gangster or hardcore at all it's 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 really just stupid and uh, unfortunately it's just like it's just not a good representation of african-american people even though i haven't seen the movie yet and i know i definitely got to check it out i've heard a movie like black klansman is something that really represents african-americans in a really great way this movie just doesn't do it unfortunately and it's just it's just honestly a bore and just a slog to get through guys it really is it's like a hundred it's like an hour and 56 minutes or 50 minutes something like that and it feels like you're there for two and a half hours it just it's it's really a pain yeah i would just really not really even pay attention to this movie but it does have decent special features director x scene breakdown talk the music superfly the remix there's no shame music videos uh, okay it's, it's like a glorified music video and that's not saying a lot so i would pass by it so super fly guys um the other thing over here i am seeing is they have the blu-ray and digital of the complete 11th season of the big bang theory for 32.99 the dvd here for 28.99 and oh man um uh, again I, i'm you know what is is there any shows that are like this that you would recommend to me because again i'm not a huge fan of this show it doesn't really do anything uh, for me i wanted to get into it and i think even if i remember i think i maybe watched one episode or two and it just didn't really do much for me it was it was just eh, i didn't see where the hype was in it but definitely let me know eh, you know but other than that, I mean, the special features are not bad. You get gag reels, you get a bunch of feature ass talking about the, the show. Mm, typical TV box set features, nothing crazy, but mm, well, like I said, uh, kind of glad it's, it's ending, I think. You know, these type of shows need to end, I think. Eh, just my thoughts. Then I'm also seeing they have This Is Us, the complete second season for 1999, and... I think this came out this week as well and I remember the first season being this huge phenomenon this sort of huge sort of like thing everybody was watching and everybody was talking about and I don't know if the second season is as popular or not I haven't watched a single episode of this I know everybody called this a really great sort of dramatic TV show definitely let me know what you guys think about it um, like I said should I invest time into it there is new episodes coming this fall, so maybe it's a good time to catch up. Let me know. Uh, not much special features on here, though. You get the after show, and that's it. Uh, yeah, kind of light on the special features, but mm, if you still love the show, maybe it's still worth it to pick up. Uh, other than that, guys, uh, that'll do it for this section. Let's see if Best Buy's got anything else. All right, guys, we are over in this section, and I know some Best Buys have been restocking the Hocus Pocus, and this Best Buy has no restocking of the Steelbook yet. Um, now, if you ended up seeing my movie hunting video where I picked up Hocus Pocus, that was the last one in my area for about over 250 miles, and I found out that it's pretty much now sold out on the actual um, website so you can't even know of any location that it's at on the website it's just completely like gone not saying that there isn't any in your area i'm just saying that it's very very rare right now and the same thing with nightmare B before christmas they haven't restocked that either i don't know when they're, they're going to be restocked maybe hopefully soon but just so you guys know here they don't have it yet and over here i am seeing something that also came out this week they have the 4k ultra hd blu-ray and digital the 35th anniversary edition of christine for 22.99 and they also have a 4k ultra hd blu-ray digital only at best buy project pop art steelbook here for 24.99 here and that it really looks beautiful i, I like the damaged Christine car there, very nice. Uh, I like that. Very, very cool here. And I love, I love the movie. I think Christine is probably a one of, one of the best sort of Carpenter films. And 
I don't know if Car I don't know if it's Carpenter's best since Halloween. I think that's a little bit hyperbolic, but the movie is actually really, really fucking awesome. I really loved the movie a lot, and I heard they might remake this. Which, oh god, can 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 we not can we not remake these things, please? But other than that, this is a great, great movie. Um, a great John Carpenter movie, a great Stephen King adaptation, really, really well done. But I have to admit to you guys, I don't know if it's worth picking this title up in 4K. I just don't know if it's worth to spend the time to actually, like, get this, because I don't know how much better picture quality-wise it's going to be over the Blu-ray. Some of these older titles, like a Christine or some of these other ones that are coming out, I don't know if they benefit from a 4K upgrade. Unless you're really putting the time and the effort into like really update it, I just don't know whether it's going to look that good or it's just going to look the same as the Blu-ray. I actually already have the Blu-ray. I have the Twilight Time release of Christine that came out a long time back, and I still love that release. I, you know, I, I'm not going to really replace it with the the 4K. I'm happy with the Blu-ray, but. You know, if you are a fan of Christine and really want to pick it up on 4K, hey, I can't blame you. It's a great movie, great John Carpenter title, $22.99 and $24.99 respectively. Not a bad deal if you love the movie. Other than that, guys, I think that'll do it for this area. Let's head out, guys. Okay, you know, I was actually, again, pleasantly surprised here because they had some really great selection this week. And, you know, it was kind of almost the opposite of last week where we had really, really great selection at Walmart, that first store that we went to. And then everything kind of went downhill and we didn't get a lot of great selection. This week, we got really good selection at the first store and we just kept getting consistently really great. And here at Best Buy, there was a lot of really cool stuff and exclusive for... Ocean's 8, which was awesome, and an exclusive for the Christine 4K release, which is great as well. Um, really cool selection that they got for kind of a down week for physical media. Um, hey, I'm always surprised when I do these. You never know what you're going to expect, and I'm pleasantly, pleasantly surprised by what Best Buy had. They had some really cool stuff to look at this week. And overall, even though a slower week, not bad at the stores. Still a lot to check out. So let's head home and finish the video, guys. All right, everybody. That'll do it for the Blu-ray and DVD out and about video this week. And you know what? Even though it was more of a lighter week for physical media, I thought the stores had some really solid selection. A lot of stuff to see regardless of how much got put out today. And that's really cool because I know in previous weeks when there's been sort of slower releases coming out, um, the stores haven't had a lot of great selection. But for some reason, this week was the exception. There was still a lot to check out. There was the exclusives. There was the different artwork. Yeah, overall, I was actually really surprised by this week. Previous weeks, we've had some really big, solid releases. A lot of exclusives to show and I knew that we would start to have a little bit slower of a time with releases at least for right now and thankfully that didn't mean the stores didn't have the cool selection and the cool stuff to check out which I thought was really awesome because I thought it was going to be a dead end week for physical media but actually it turned out to be a very pleasant surprise. Definitely let me know what you guys picked up this week. And when I got home, I had a very pleasant surprise in the mail. So I've been talking to you guys about how there's a lot of scalpers on eBay and how uh, they jack up the prices and that it's really unfair to a lot of us collectors out there. Well, I ended up picking up a title from eBay. I ended up picking up a Code Red release that is completely out of print. You cannot find it anywhere except for eBay. It is a teen sex comedy that is from Code Red, and I am very, very happy to pick it up. I've been eyeing this release for a while, and I decided to finally pull the trigger for a really solid price as well. Not price gouging, but a really solid, fair price. And you guys will not get to find out exactly what I picked up until my Blu-ray pickup video, which will drop at the beginning of next month. 
it will show off all of the releases that I picked up for the month of September and so far there's actually a lot of cool releases that I picked up. A lot of older titles, not a lot of newer titles right now, a lot of older titles that I'm picking up, stuff that I've been meaning to get for a while. And yeah, there's a lot of really cool retro titles that I cannot wait to show you guys. So definitely tune into that when it gets dropped at the beginning of next month. And before I finish the video, I did want to take some parting words and talk about Burt Reynolds. Uh, Burt ended up passing away um, towards the end of last week and... Um, it's just, honestly, it's just a really sad loss. Burt is one of, I think, those last really solid movie stars that just was in that bygone era that is just a guy who lived a very incredible, amazing life, somebody who didn't take a lot of shit from people and just made some really solid movies and a lot of memorable movies that we'll never forget. Uh, Deliverance, Smokey and the Bandit, Cannonball Run, which is a, definitely a favorite of mine, uh, Boogie Nights, I, I mean, the list goes on and on and on, I could easily say a ton more, um, just great, uh, Sharky's Machine, of course, another really great one, yeah, he's, he's done so many guys, and God, Burt Reynolds is gonna be missed, but I know for a fact that he's probably up in heaven right now with people like Dom DeLuise, just having a ball, man, laughing their ass off, and you know what, man, the guy's going to be missed, but you know, as as movie lovers, as long as we keep the movies in our hearts and keep them alive, then they're never going to die. These people are never going to die. They're, they're legend, and their their movies will live on forever, and Burt is definitely going to be one that's going to live on, so um, rest in peace, Burt Reynolds. You are going to be greatly, greatly missed. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, definitely give it a thumbs up. And I just want to take a minute to thank the subscribers, the comments, everything that you guys do. I appreciate it so much. You are beyond awesome. I can't express my love for you guys enough. And if you love what I do on the channel, the videos, if you love, you know, me talking about movies and physical media, come on board the channel. Uh, subscribe, be a part of the Film Fan Nation. I love just talking about the media and the movies. I have a passion for it, and I love sharing my passion with you guys. So if you haven't subscribed yet, definitely come on board the channel. And check me out on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, FilmFan108. Uh, and keep up to date with all of the videos that I post week to week. All right, guys, I will see you back next week for a brand new Blu-ray and DVD out and about video. Take care, guys, and happy hunting.